holding a juvenile Juro spider. Until next time, for the Farm Monitor, I'm Ranger Nick, reminding you like I always do, that enthusiasm is contagious. Well, you're looking high above a beautiful forest stand in Pike County, and through the magic of television, we have the advantage of looking over that stand, but you might not always have that on your property. I happen to be out in this stand today and run into a dear colleague of mine, Dr. Elizabeth McCarty. Hey, Doc. Hey. I'm so glad I ran into you just by coincidence, right? But we're out here today talking about diseases and insects that can impact pine trees, and one of those things in particular that I want to visit with you about is what we hear SPB, the southern pine beetle. So you're looking at this tree out here. What are you looking for to determine if this has a problem or not? All right. Well, we initially first look up and see a change in color in the in the foliage. Okay. Right. And that makes us curious to look a little further down. And note that we've got these white spots on the tree. These are called pitch tubes. Okay. And this is what happens whenever the southern pine beetle bores into the bark. And just like people bleed with a paper cut, the tree lets out pitch to flush that beetle out. Okay. And you know, a couple beetles, that's fine, but whenever we start to get mass attacks all over the place, you know, we start to have some problems with that tree's health. But these pitch tubes are what we'll look at, look for, and sometimes they can be a little bit larger. Um, and southern pine beetle tends to have the pitch tubes in the bark crevices. Isn't that interesting? Right. So They're that smart. Yeah. You know that they go in the path of least resistance. Cool. So we've got bark plates okay. and then the bark crevices. And most of the titch tube will be on those bark crevices for southern pine, pine beetles. So this is a big problem. Yes. Yeah, I mean, problem. Georgia, Alabama, I've heard about. And, and I'm, as a landowner, able to go out and look at my pine tree. When I start seeing these, is it too late? For this individual tree, yes. OK, OK. Are there things I can do to prevent this? Absolutely. Or look out? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> okay, good. The best things that we can do is work to keep our trees healthy. So whenever they get enclosed in, or we sometimes call overstock situation in pine stands, nothing likes to be crowded in. Right. It makes it poor for their health. And it's the same thing with pine trees. So properly thinning tr trees, not having a lot of competing hardwood vegetation growing up and kind of choking them out and limiting right. their resources. So it's all about being proactive, having good management before we have a problem. I can't emphasize enough how big of a deal southern pine beetles are in Georgia. And to help drive that point home is Paul McDaniel. Hey, Paul. Hey, Nick. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm so glad you're with us today. So Paul is a forest health coordinator with Georgia Forestry Commission. How big of a deal are southern pine beetles, Paul? Southern pine beetles are a big deal. So Georgia is the number one forestry state in the nation. And southern pine beetles is the most destructive native pest that affects Georgia's trees. Wow. So just to give you some, some idea of economics, so we've had over $254 million worth of damage caused by southern pine beetles since 1972. Wow. So it's it's a huge big deal. Um, and we this year's probably been some of the worst southern pine beetle we've seen in the decade. So to try to slow this down, to do something about this, what can the folks at home, whether they're in Georgia or somewhere else, who can they reach out to? How can they get help proactively? Yeah, sure. So um, the biggest thing with southern pine beetle is prevention. So when you think you have pine trees and you want to manage them, contact your local county forester. Um, we're here to help to show you if we can come in and look at your property. We can give you advice on maybe the thin out your pine stand and mm -hmm. stuff like that. So prevention is the best medicine for southern pine beetle. Because once you have southern pine beetle, it's hard to stop it. You know, it was like we were visiting with Dr. McCarty about those little pitches, those pieces of sap coming out of that tree. At that time, it's too late. So being proactive, reaching out to a professional, even county extension agent, is a good route to go there too. That's, that's right. And then Georgia also does a lot of preventative stuff, monitoring for southern pine beetle every year. We do prediction trapping every spring to see how bad the southern pine beetle outbreak may be. And then we also do an aerial survey every year where we cover about 10 million acres from the airplane, looking over and marking spots that could have southern pine beetle. We appreciate the work you're doing, Paul. We appreciate you all thinking about this too. Paul, thanks so much for yeah, today. Thank you so much. I appreciate much, your yeah. beautiful day. We appreciate Dr. McCarty as well. Y'all know what to do. Hop online, look up your local forestry commission. If you're in Georgia or not, learn more about the Southern Pine Beetle and what you can do. And while you're doing that, check out the Farm Monitor Facebook page, the Ranger Nick Facebook page. And until next time, as we always say, for the Farm Monitor, I'm Ranger Nick, reminding you that enthusiasm is contagious. So pass it on. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you right back here next month. See ya. Holding 
a juvenile Juro spider. Until next time, for the Farm Monitor, I'm Ranger Nick, reminding you like I always do, that enthusiasm is contagious.